if privileged liberals said the quiet parts out loud. I, a cis, straight, neurotypical, able-bodied, well-off white man, understand your experiences as systemically oppressed minorities better than you do, because I am just such a good ally. This is how I know you're being silly and ignorant and nihilistic and defeatist by pointing out the fact that both the blue hats and the red hats want everyone who's not exactly like me dead. This is why I'm going to condescend to you and call you selfish for refusing to reward genocide Joe Biden for committing genocide. Don't you know Trump would be worse? And by worse, I mean worse for people like me. Nothing for you would fundamentally change, of course. Come to think of it, it wouldn't change for me either, because I'm already privileged enough not to be affected. But if Trump won, I'd have to actually pretend to condemn things like genocide and putting kids in cages and police brutality. Now just stop caring about actual morals and vote to continue genocide already, or I'll pretend you don't actually care about Palestinians. Because the only way to care about them is to ignore them and reward the man literally committing genocide against them. And if you disagree, it's because you're the real racist. Vote for the genocidal old white man who doesn't represent you. It's the only way to preserve our totally real representational democracy. Oh, and feel free to pay me money for being brave enough to say this. May 31st, 2024. Free Palestine. You will be the shame of all history if you support genocide. A vote for Genocide Joe is a vote for the genocide of Palestinians and any new target who comes after this. Don't you fucking dare pretend you're doing it from a moral high ground.